69. Uh, today the river is fishable, which is good news because there's so much rain everywhere. Uh, puddles, ditches are full up, rivers are full up. Anyway, so when it's this swim yesterday it would have been about six feet underwater, but today it's obviously not, otherwise I wouldn't be here. So when it gets like that, I do reckon that the fish will move, find these kinds of areas where it's a bit slacker. So um, I'm hedging my bets that there might be a fish or two willing to take some bread. Don't know what they'll be, but let's find out. Let's see what we go. Be a chub. Don't get away from the roots. Oh, that's the first <laughs> chub of the day. Look at him. Beautiful fish. Great fight. And a great bite. Let's put it straight back. Oh, that was nice. Nice job that, but I guess in the weight about two and a half, two and a half pounds, something like that. Beautiful scales on it. I love the scales of a job. <laughs> anyway, I just want to quickly show you what caught it. At tw size 12 barbless. Uh, free running cage feeder filled with liquidized, liquidized bread. I normally have a little bead just there, but I've actually got a gripper because I've run out of beads. <laughs> Other than that, let's get another cast up there and see what we get. the next one. Definitely worth 15 minutes I reckon in this one. Let's see what we get. I've moved swims, it's probably been a final swim. It's really cold, to tell you the truth, it's about two or three degrees, wind chill. Uh, it's about zero probably, northerly wind. But um, I don't reckon that'll put the, ch the chevin off, maybe. Who knows, it's a bit coloured though. Roach might bite, I'm really open for a big roach, but <laughs> you spend a lifetime hoping for a big roach. Uh, anyway, let's put the bread out and see what we get. 